Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Got some bonus levels to do today. These ones are the, are the reward for clearing out three fives. So we got Rickety Raptors today and then Bramble Scramble. So we're going to go ahead and do those. Hopefully you all are doing well. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Been thinking about you guys. It's been a little bit since I've seen you. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, we're back at it. We're back at it with some Donkey Kong. Everyone likes Donkey Kong, right? What a great game. These levels actually aren't horrible. I don't say that as in like, I think any of the levels in this game are horrible, but these ones for being bonus levels aren't really that bad. So if you were going to fret because of potential trials and tribulations from these levels today you're fine not too bad i say that and i'm probably going to absolutely forget something important and very obvious so love that for us but yeah this one's not too bad it's pretty manageable okay i say that right as i die it's like the universe knows when I'm recording and want to be successful for all of you, as I always do. The universe decides to put a uh, big old squash to that one. Can't be having too much fun here, D-Mike. You got, you got to rein in that hubris. You will not be having that. But other than that, you know, this level and the next one, they're, they're interesting. I don't... I don't know if I'd say there's anything remarkable about them, but they do have this kind of gimmick of these platforms. Ooh, that was close. That when you pound on them, when you pound that wood, it'll slide it back and forth for you. Okay, so I know I said in the past that there were other bonus platform versions that I hated. Uh, I lied. Uh, those ones don't even come remar remarkably close to the level of disdain I have for this one. Also, this style of platform bonus, imagine trying to do this without a, a companion. That would be a poo-poo experience. And nobody wants to have a poo-poo experience. So, retro, like, come on. Start trying to poo-poo all over us. Yeah, that one's not, it's not too bad. I'm just being a little baby. But that's half the fun, right? It's hearing me be a silly goose and be a little fraudulent in my complaining. Okay, so as you can see, there is something down there. I'm not sure what it is. I bet you might have an idea, though. You gotta pull on both of them vines. You gotta tug them vines. Get yourself that puzzle piece. Thankfully, the puzzle piece is in this level in particular aren't horrible. Sometimes they can be a really ostentatious and annoying and I'm just like, you know what? Ain't got time for that. But ooh, okay, that's the wrong button. It's been a hot minute since I played this. That's, you know, like I said, one of the pitfalls of the way that I record is that and I'm not trying to tell anybody how to do Let's Plays, obviously, or just recording in general. I will have opinions on everything as I do, because I'm just that kind of guy. The, uh, my method of recording typically involves doing individual episodes at a time. Well, I guess you don't have to pound those platforms. Learn something today. But yeah, my typical preference for recording is one episode at a time, and I like to... I don't know if I have to get all these or not. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough to do. I haven't gotten any of these ones. Maybe if you could just... Okay. I feel like that was probably something I needed to do, but I did not do it. So we might, we might be revisiting this level, we'll find out. I don't remember that being a big deal, but it could be. Anyway, my recording style is one episode at a time. Okay. These blue balls are giving me some trouble. One at a time, and the reasoning for that is because I think that it's more enjoyable to kind of break it up like that. Also, the other reason for it is I want the things that I do and say to be kind of more current. 
you know, I'm not basing. Oop, that's that's death. I'm not basing this series off of current events. Obviously, I'm not an episode of South Park or the news. I am not either of those things, but I don't want things to get too stale. And I know that for some people, if this is what you do for a living, which bless you if you're able to do that. Maybe that'll be us someday. Anyway, that maybe you have to batch record because you've got a lot going on. Maybe this isn't the only thing that you do in terms of content contributions. So I get it. You know, it makes sense. But for me, one at a time, typically, I mean, at least one per series. There might be times that I'll sit and I'll record an episode of Pokemon or I'll record a an episode of Super Nintendo Sundays and then I'll come back and do this, you know. There's potential for all of that. Okay, so I guess I didn't really need that. That's okay. We'll let that life float away just like our own. It's a metaphor. What do you think I met her for? So, yeah, I, uh... I've been doing it that way pretty much the entire time I've had this version of my channel. Obviously, my old channel was compiled differently, but that's also because I was a youth and I had no responsibilities and being an adult did not exist yet. So, I mean... That's not sure I was an adult, but an adult legally, mentally, I don't, I don't know. That's, that's up for debate. However, what's not up for debate is that that style of recording, at least in my opinion, with the way that I was doing it back then compared to now was exhausting. And it wasn't exhausting for me then just because I had that kind of free time and it was okay. But now that I don't, you know, I'm fully employed, I'm contributing to the workforce, etc. I just don't really have the latitude to be able to, I don't know if that's like the right word or not, but I don't really have, or wherewithal, we'll say wherewithal. I'm not steadfast enough to do it. You work a full day and then you have to come and try to record and part of it too is like my mantra and people may or may not agree with this and that's fine. You're entitled to your opinions sometimes, as long as you don't pretend that your opinions are facts. Like some people. It's my belief that if you aren't having fun when you're recording, if the content you're making is painful for you, if it feels like a waste of time, then you know you're doing it wrong. And I don't mean that in the sense of like, you're incorrect, but I feel like you're doing a disservice to not only your viewers, but yourself. You're not gonna have fun. The content you make is probably not gonna be indicative of you and like your highest quality of, you know, making stuff. And I feel like that's kind of a bummer. So, you know, make stuff if you like it. If you don't like it, don't make it. And that's kind of the crux, I think, of doing something that may initially start as a hobby and then becomes more of a, a financial burden, you know, like if making YouTube content was something you just did for fun and then once money gets involved for a lot of people, it can sometimes cause a rift. Okay, if I could just ha oh my gosh, okay. Buffalo, more like buffalo. Anyway, yeah, if you're just, if you're not vibing, if you're not having fun, if the things you're doing become arduous, and I don't mean that in a good way, you know, maybe take a break, maybe... And this go, this applies to like anything in life, it doesn't necessarily just apply to making video content on YouTube that's obviously very specific to me right now, because it's what I'm doing. But in general, yeah, I mean, if it's not what you want to do, then don't do it. Like, unless somebody is like holding your family hostage and says, make you Let's Plays or I'm gonna kill everybody you love, like, okay, well, you know, it's probably not gonna be your best content anyway. You know, being stressed out at gunpoint, it, you know, usually doesn't have the best results, but I can't speak to that. I would just have to assume, but you know what assuming does? Makes poo-poo out of you, you, and me, me, so you don't want that. All right, so this area is kind of weird. These little platforms that pop on when you smack them. And this one, you got to kind of time it right or not. Okay, great. And okay. We are absolutely killing it right now. I said this level wasn't going to be too trivial, and here I am having the level trivialize me. And I love trivia, but this is not, not the kind I want. 
But yeah, I guess the whole point of what I'm trying to get at is that occasionally you'll find that on this channel, I do have a set schedule of when I theoretically would like to upload content. And the reason for that is because from a perspective of logic and data, consistent content is the best way to get people to follow your stuff you do. Why is that? Well, it's because people like trends. People enjoy being able to count on certain things. Okay, that's not probably how you're supposed to do that, but it's how I'm going to do it, so I'm going to say that was good. But yeah, people like consistency. People like knowing when things are. That's why your favorite shows on television are probably going to be the ones that are on like a major cable provider, and you'll see them... I feel like I need these. Can I grab you and not die? Yes! And I didn't need it. Great. I feel like I'm missing something. But yeah, all that content is probably going to be relatively well... Oh, I missed something. Of course I did. Pretty well structured. Am I supposed to grab this? Okay. Yes, we'll have to... Okay, this is, this is a cool gimmick. I like this. You couldn't tell, there's a little bit of sarcasm. Am I supposed to? Okay, let's do it real fast. Oh, looks like I was successful after all, huh? Minus the whole thing about, you know, not uh, being successful. I did, I did goof and I missed one thing. So I apologize, everybody. We'll go back into it and see where I lost my way. Talked about how easy this level was, and then here I am, just complete goofing. I don't know... It doesn't really feel like anything I did was... too tough, but... Let's try again. There, there's probably a... a uh, there's probably one that I missed that's easy to miss. I like to make excuses for myself. It's how I sleep at night. Poorly. Don't actually sleep too well. Anybody ever have sleeping problems? Is that ever a thing? Is that just me? Maybe I'm the only person in the history of humanity. Just can't get a good amount of shut eye at night. Make my problem for me when it comes to being unable to sleep is that I just got a very busy brain. I feel, I, you know, I love brain and I am just so busy with all the things I'm thinking of and doing. It's hard to let myself cool down. Stop thinking about all them crazy things. And I always wonder, there's a lot of science out there that, science and signs, I don't know exactly what word I used there, but you know, it's probably, they're both probably applicable. There's a lot of things out there that are pointing to the advent of screen technology. You know, your cell phone your television, your computer, your tablet, your video games, all of those things, there is potential that those things are detrimental to us as humans. And I think it's fascinating because the reality of that situation is, besides me just missing that absolute whiff, the reality of the situation is that human beings aren't really equipped for any of these things. Technology is moving so quickly that we're not evolving as fast as technology is. And I don't know exactly where you would find this information, but there's probably something out there that says that, you know, what rate technology is evolving at. And I, I remember reading something that said that like, it has gone so quickly in recent history that humans just cannot keep up with it. Something like that, which I totally believe. I totally believe it. So, you know, we're at a bit of a threshold here where the question... All right, this is what I think I missed. Yes, there it is. So the question going forward is, you know, how do we handle that? How do you survive with a, an advent in humanity, in society, where, you know, we rely on technology for so much and we've become conditioned and ingrained. It's very normal nowadays for everyone to have a cell phone. I remember when I was a youth, 
my experience with a cellular device was very novel. I was not expecting to ever get one. And I was gifted one for some birthday, I don't remember. But it was just a flip phone, right? The technology wasn't quite as, ro oh, I'm dead. It wasn't quite as robust back then. But, you know, the idea is still the same, is that having technology is something that we've been conditioned to to really make an integral part of what we do. You know, it's really, it's really uh, ever-present, omniscient. That's not the word, is it? Omniscient? Omnipresent? Probably the word present. That's the one that would make sense in this situation. So it's just a bit disappointing, I guess, that there's not really much you can do about it. I mean, I guess there is. Like, I shouldn't... I'm not trying to be defeatist, y'all. But there's certain things that make it tough, you know? How... How reliant are we with technology that we need our cell phones every day? Like for me, it has so much information on it. It's got the calendar I use to to work. It's got the calendar I use to plan any sort of social activity. It's got phone numbers for people that when I was younger, I may have remembered, but now I, I know less than like 10, if I'm being completely honest. It's just kind of a weird, paradigm how we've shifted as a culture I got it again not even trying see that's how pro I am little did you know that this was gonna be my TED talk on technology today you're welcome I'm not a critic of technology I'm not gonna say hey let's all go off the grid and live in bomb shelters and drink around pee and stuff I'm not gonna do that yet you know, if things continue the way that they are, maybe that'd be a good idea. But in general, I think that it's of value to consider the dangers of the things we're dealing with. That's all. That's all I'm saying. And, you know, I'm guilty of it, too. That's part of my issue is that, you know, as much as I want to rail on about it and, you know, getting railed. Plenty of fun to talk about. But the issue here is that the things that we deal with, we're all kind of guilty of in a perfect world, in a utopian take. We all want to be the one to say, oh, well, we don't do that. You know, we're not the ones who would fall prey to that. And I say that sometimes like, oh, I would never do that. And then I look back and the reality is that I'm just as susceptible as anybody. And that doesn't really mean anything in the grand scheme of things because, of course, I'm as susceptible as anybody. I'm just an average person. You know, I'm not predisposed to be something special. But in general, the the technology and the things that we use that become addictive and part of everything that we do, those things are like that for a reason. Like it didn't. I mean, some of it may have happened by accident, but a lot of what we do is because of very important people very smart people with a lot of money at stake are out there planning these things for a long time. Like there are, like I said, there's potential for coincidence. There's potential for things to evolve and occur via happenstance. That's 100% true. But you have to realize that a lot of it is probably, I don't want to say nefarious. Also, this is a really cool kind of little foreground piece. Oh, this is background piece, not foreground. For somebody who works in production, I should probably know that. But we got these wheels chasing us. We're gonna wanna collect all these nanners and just wait a hot second for them to run past. Also, I think the rats running in wheels kinda looks like Ratatouille. Please don't sue me, Disney. I think that's kinda cute. But anyway, yeah. There's very important players involved that make a lot of money and have influence on using technology to, I, I mean, you could boil it down to its simplest form and say, for control. And, you know, that's kind of what it is. But it depends upon what kind of control we're referring to. A lot of it's financial. A lot of it's financial. But, you know, in general. Ooh, another barrel blaster. In general. You know, there's only so much that the average person can do. Like, as consumers, you know, we rely on technology 
for leisure, for for work, for puzzle piece collecting. It's kind of hard to distance yourself from it sometimes. It's a you know it's an easier said than done kind of scenario. So I'm not harping on anybody because, like I said, I myself incredibly susceptible. I don't know how I'm supposed to get that. Uh, maybe this? Nope. Maybe a roll jump? Can I even roll jump to that? Oh, okay. You come back? Oh, oh I, I can smack that thing. Smack them big old lips. Okay. Oh, I, can I bounce higher than that? Okay. I'm gonna bounce in this big old bird. I don't know if I need this. I do not. Looks like a suspicious little banana down there. It certainly is. That's a puzzle piece. But yeah. It's just tough. You know, you want to be... You want to be removed from certain things that are detrimental to your lifestyle. And, you know, it's it's always good to be, like, self-aware. I guess self-aware. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could knock those over. Kind of reminds me of those big... Whatever those are called. The ones with the, the big chubby ones with the helmets in Donkey Kong Country. I forget what their, their name is. But you can easily kill them with Donkey Kong, but with Diddy it's a little bit of a different story. Alright, so heading this way. I feel like we need to grab all these. Let's do it. That's a puzzle piece. I feel like I'm having a little bit better success with this one. If you could go ahead and turn your fire off. Thank you. Whoop. Okay. Would have enjoyed it then too. Yeah, in general. I'm trying to not be too alarmist here or concerning but you know it is what it is oh get out of here i gotta be careful i don't lose dixie Ooh. this is like a roll jump opportunity okay certainly was requires actually uh doing one Ooh, that was close okay thankfully there's there's a bailout barrel right here thank you government Unfortunately, I'm not a corporation, so the government bailed out a person for once. That's strange. But yes. It makes me wonder if humanity is going to be able to catch up. You know, are we going to be able to solve these situations that we deal with? And, you know, at what point are there important people from the other side that are saying, Hey, you know, this is kind of bad, and... You know, maybe, maybe we should do something about it. I don't know. I don't know. Unfortunately, I'm not very important. I just have opinions. Okay. I feel like this is not what I was supposed to do. And I feel like I'm missing something. Is there another? Okay, that's death. I'm definitely missing a puzzle piece. I thought I got them all, but apparently I didn't. So we will figure this out, okay, as we always do, guys, come on. I think there was another, maybe a, uh, a hidden room I missed. Hopefully I'm not too far ahead. Looks like it might have, might have been after the end. This is the end. Is it up here? Oh, I just, I literally walked right past it. Oh my goodness. Well, at least it only took me two takes instead of a million takes like it normally does. That's good, right? Be proud. Loud and proud. So we gotta get all these bananas as per usual for the bonus. This one's not too bad. These shifting platforms ain't no thing. I say that, but I still have to get the puzzle piece. Okay, that's... That's all of them. But yeah, I'm just... I'm just thinking out loud, guys, as I always do. You know me. You know me. You know, just having a casual existential thought, making a video. It's whatever. Everybody's doing it. All right, I don't know if these open up more. I feel like I just gotta go quickly. Okay, like that's what I did last time and it was not, it was not good, so. Okay, whatever. That's a, that's a finished, finished situation. Okay, that's feeling pretty good. And as usual, we gotta complete the episode. 
with some toys. Toys are fun. Maybe that'll cheer us all up. Hopefully I wasn't bumming y'all out. But we do unlock the K level. We'll be doing that in the boss next time. But first, a quick trundle. Nope, that's not the right word. Trudge. Back to Funky's Flight. I wish there was an easier way to do this, but it's fine. I don't know if I did it last time, so I'm by 10 now, because I think I forgot. Okay. 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 All right. Hoots, what a hoots. Okay. All right, so a uh, classic one out of 10, you know, it's fine. That's, that's pretty good, right? 10%. But anyway, we're gonna head up to the K level and we'll be doing that next time. Precarious Pendulum. So thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Donkey Kong Gundry. Tropical Freeze. Stay safe. Turn off your screens. Have a good night or day. Bye.